What is going on guys? It's Nintendocraft Studios here and welcome to another review video where today I'm going to be reviewing Nintendo Switch uh, Ninten two Nintendo Switch carrying cases. Now they're not exactly the same. They're actually completely different actually. Or at least intended for completely different purposes. But, but as you guys can already see, I've got my Joy-Con grip right all the way over here with the Joy-Cons in them. The dock with the um, tablet. The Pro Controller that I showed you guys in the last video. Both the HDMI cable and AC adapter. And the charging port for the Switch um, Pro Controller. And a pair of headphones. So the first one I'm going to go over is the... Um, um, Basically, is the Mario Kart um, Switch carrying case, and here it is. Um, now I don't have these in the boxes, but and I already do have some stuff in there, but I could show you guys what they really are used for. I and this one is the Mario Kart one. Uh, I got this one at GameStop. It was only for twenty five bucks. Um, it's it's really cool. It's really cool. It even got a little handle so you can carry it around. So let's open this up and see what what brings us. So the first thing we're greeted to is this little zipper thing. And in here I actually have put my Nintendo my straps in there actually. So it would look like that. And then when you flip it, you've got space to put the system. So I'm gonna go in get the joy cons out of there put them into the switch. all right I'll put these in the switch all right got the switch and then it basically sits perfectly in there this co this covers up the screen so it doesn't get scratched then underneath that is a little um are these two game things this is to put your games in there as you can see one of them's empty but the other one has one game in there and that is the legend of zelda breath of the wild and basically it just goes in there you don't really need any force to get it out but it does keep it a bit secure and then you have this little pouch area. This is where you, and this is probably most likely where you put your games in. But I do not put them there because I, there's these two spots. And plus, it's not like the Switch is even being harmed by it either. Whoa. But what I put in here are the straps. If I ever need to use them. Alright. Just. I'm just going to get the straps in there. Sorry this is taking so long. And you cover it up like that. Zip it back. Up. And then it's good. Even though it is a little bit fat in this area compared to the rest of the case, it still feels really good. But here's one question to ask. What if I wanted to bring all of this stuff, including everything in here and including all of this? What if I wanted to bring all this stuff, including the stuff that's in there? Well, here's where I'm going to show you guys the second case. And I'm going to take everything out as well except for the game I'll take it out if I need it so I'm gonna put that off to the side I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way because um, this next one's gonna be fairly huge um, so I have to be careful Oh man, I'm gonna have to tilt this up a little bit. All right, this everyone is the Nintendo Switch 
it's called something. I'm going to just call this the Nintendo Switch Game Traveler Deluxe Case. It's probably called that, but I'm going to just call this the Nintendo Switch Deluxe Case. So, as you can see, this one is very big, according to this one. And the reason for it is because this right here is designed if you were going to bring all the stuff that's to the side. And I'll show you guys that really quickly. All my stuff over there, all this stuff can fit in there. Now we're going to see if it works or not. So, it's got a handle, it's got a zipper just like the other ones. It's got Nintendo Switch. Uh, not much of a design to it. It does, it is it cool. But let's open it up and see what we're, we can put all of our stuff. And I just realized there was still a security thing on there. So, gotta get this back out again. Alright. This probably won't budge. Oh, God. One second, everybody. All right, guys, so I finally got it open. But anyways, there's a sipper with the Switch logo. So let's open this up and see what is inside. Lift it. Whoa, that's a lot of room. Whoa, that's, that's a lot of room. All right, and we even got a little pouch. So all my stuff is over there. Well, minus that and that, we're going to try and get all of that stuff into this thing. All right. So, first thing is where the dock can go. Um, the dock goes right here in this big part right here. Fits really perfectly. Then the switch itself, with the Joy-Cons attached, goes right in the... F well, I got it. Goes right in the front. Keeps it very secure. Hopefully it doesn't scratch my screen. Probably won't, but... And then we got this pouch in the back. Now, you have two options. We'll put it up like this. You can either put your Joy-Con grip right there, or you could put your Pro Controller there, and it still fits. And then we're gonna put in the um, the HDMI cable. I'll just you know get this loose enough and put this. Um, well, I guess there isn't really a good place to put it, but I'll I'll do the AC one first since it probably works better since it has a smaller cord. I'll just put this in here, or at least I'll put the there isn't really a good play to way to put it in there. Wait, hold on. All right, guys, I just made a quick edit there because um, I did eventually get the AC adapter in there. Um, you got It's so tight, though, so it barely fits in there. Also, you've got this pouch right here that's got four cases of games, but I'm not going to use those. Um, I'm going to put in the HDMI cable because there really isn't a better spot to put it. I mean, you don't have to put it in there, but I'm going to do it just because there's really not much space. I mean, to put the cables in, it's very, like, it gives you very, very little space. I'm just going to... God, this isn't even... This is way bigger than I thought. That thing's only, like, five feet long anyways, so... Why is it so short anyways? Alright, I'm going to put the 
HDMI cable. Hopefully get it in there because this is very, very tight. All right, finally got that in there. You could just stuff it like right there. I'll put the lid on. It almost fists. And there you go. And that's how you can pack your Nintendo Switch. And if we look over here, we do have, still have some stuff left over, but uh, I don't think it really is the worst of problems. Yeah. So anyways, that is basically my reviews of the, the carrying case and then the big case. Um, and honestly, which one would I recommend? Well, I just recommend getting both of them if you're like me, where you go around town a lot, but sometimes you do go out of town. Like, if you're going around town, you can use this one. If you go out of town, you can use this. If it's not close to you or anything. But, yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As it would help me a lot. And, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.